and we're back with some more Mass Effect, everybody. Hey, you. That's right. Salute your commander. <laughs> Why can't I talk to them? They should let me do that. You know, interact with all the crew and my ship. That would have been nice. So they have anything to say? The Krogan won't let themselves fall by the wayside again. Not like they did after the rebellions. We'll have to get used to them having a bigger part in the galaxy. Okay. Oh, nothing to say. Nothing to say. Gas isn't in there. Take care, Commander. All right. Hello, Shepard. Do 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 do. Let's go engineering. What okay, was I think it's just Javik and engineering. Oh, that frame rate is serious. Come on, load up, load up. There we go. So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? Oh, I knew this was coming. I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Ah. Elastic titanium silicon polymers. Ultra light harmonic phased power cells. Mm -hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much padding. Oh my goodness. Oh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. Ah. You pretty much are, Kenneth. You should go see Adams, Commander. Who? You should go see Adams, Commander. You should go see Adams, Commander. Stop, I wanted to talk to her. You should go see Adams, Commander. All right. Commander, I've identified a problem with our engines. A core overload could cause a plasma vent within the engineering compartment. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic... Well, can't oh it crap, I had no. We're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Okay, I'll buy it. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. I had my TV on. A GX12 thermal pipe. Alright. I had my TV on. While I was recording. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of this ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Ah, uh, yeah. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Thin. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. We're reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. 
Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the Cosmic Imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. The Cosmic Imperative. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. The weak need to be protected. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You? Really? You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. He is being realistic the though. The box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. He is being realistic, though. I still can't touch it. Thank you, Commander. I have seen the death of a Reaper. It has been a long time. Let's hope it's the first of many. Yes. A difficult fight remains. In your position, what? I would have the put the Solarian leader what? to heal. Oh? You only had to make the Krogan believe you cured their disease. They are too stupid to know the difference. The Solarians would have been grateful and rewarded you. Both would have served you at the same time. Morality and friendship do not matter now. Your allies are simply resources to use against the Reapers. If the Krogan seek retribution for the past, do not waste time on sterility plagues. Destroy them where they stand. In the meantime, they are useful cannon fodder against the Reapers. Okay. <laughs> he is just being realistic. He doesn't mean anything. Genophage here, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which planet is that again? Beckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? This is Krogan redemption. It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? That can be negotiated. The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I help them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Alright. Commander. Okay. Oh, asset updated. Getting those assets up, though. Alright. Let's go to the shuttle bay. After this, we could head to the citadel and see if we get any 
stuff. Oh, we do have to check Ashley though. Almost forgot about her. All right. Where where was it? Yeah, I don't want the hurricane. No. Nope, 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 nope. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, okay, so the barrel is there. Alright, just checking. Just checking. Just checking. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. Keep it up. Uh, do you ever rest? I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R and R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. Okay. Well, keep it up, buddy. I appreciate your dedication. Good work, Lieutenant. Thank you, Commander. You can count on me. So before this war. You must have done something to relax. Oh, my goodness. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there were reviews like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Ah. Uh, it's your choice. No. Uh. Yeah, it's your choice. Do what you need. But it might help. I'll think about it. Thanks. How did I get a renegade for that? That doesn't make sense. Parts of the chunk are reminding me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not going to start growing scales or anything, right? No, uh, no, I, I don't think so. Can I talk to them? Nope. Alright, well, I guess that's it. Hey there. Hey, doggy. All right, well, let's go to the Citadel. I uh, wonder if we'll have enough time to talk to Ash. See what Ashley is up to. And I have money, so I could go buy meet Solarian Counselor. Huh, all right. Because there's one armor. One more armor set I'm going to buy. And after this, I may very well do the uh, the Aria DLC. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Cough just came out of nowhere.
Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 14, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? Video glitching out a little bit there. Oh no. What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Cerberus. The Citadel is yeah. Attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No, I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Ashley make it out? We got separated. She said she had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. Ah. Kara suddenly arrow. Yeah, I'm rocking. I'm rocking the collector armor. Alright, let's get you increased damage. No. Increased damage. Warp ammo. Increase ammo capacity. Ooh. It's actually pretty good. All right. Wanna fight? I have had it up to here with Cerberus. No, take, take the damn cover, Shepard. Take cover. Jeez, Shepard.
They love using those bombs. Oof. Calm down, calm down. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'll go there. Job. Bailey. Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in c -Sex flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. Here we go, CSET network access, courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Ashiel. She's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. This move may provoke retaliation. Well, that's an understatement. If she's inside, she's in trouble. Okay, I'll cut off here. Thanks for watching.